Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Addict. I'm John, a former Tesla Autopilot employee, and today we have an exciting challenge. Back in 2016, Tesla released an FSD promotional video titled, Paint It Black, to showcase to the public Tesla's self-driving technology. The video opened with text stating, the person in the driver's seat is only there for legal reasons. However, interviews from former Tesla employees later revealed the video was fraudulently stitched together from several hours of footage filmed from dozens of drive attempts. The Tesla employees also allege in one attempt, the Tesla crashed into a roadside barrier while filming. Tesla also incorporated such an outrageous degree of video editing trickery, the original 11 minute drive was actually only two minutes in the video, omitting several miles of the route. Fast forward to 2023, I took my Tesla on the exact same route as the original painted black video to see if Tesla has solved self-driving after seven years of development. Unfortunately, FSD couldn't make a perfect drive. For instance, it entered a left turn lane when it was supposed to go straight. Now it's 2024, and I'm back to see if Tesla full self-driving beta version 12 can finally complete the painted black route without any failures. Let's find out if eight years of development have made a difference. As you can see behind me is the exact garage the Tesla comes out at the beginning of the Paint It Black video. And this is the driveway where the test begins. Obviously, I don't want to trespass. So I parked my Tesla across the street and we're gonna start right over there. All right, as you can see right in front of us, there is the house with the driveway the Tesla pulls out at the very beginning of the video. Let's go to our navigation here and type in Tesla headquarters. We got our navigation, we're gonna to route to it, get it into drive. And with that, we will start FSD. So let's see if the Tesla full self-driving with its current hardware can do the painted black video in 2024, seven to eight years after the 2016 video came out. It takes time, a little bit there at the stop sign, but uh, it did execute it quite nice once it decided to go. 500 feet, turn right onto Andy Rose Drive. Now turn right onto Andy Rose Drive. So you'll we'll see that there's a series of speed bumps here and it detects the speed bump rather late. It was hard on the brakes there, but we did go over it at a manageable speed. But again, a bit hard on the brakes there as it detected the speed bump, in my opinion, at the last moment. Again, right here, detects it at the last moment, goes over it much faster than the last one, um, hard on the brakes. But it did detect it just a bit late though. Right here we have cars coming from our left. It is good to go. It is still good to go. It's almost about to not be good to go. There's a Jeep now coming, so I would not go. And it is deciding to go. But it accelerates rather hard out of that turn. And so we have enough speed to, uh, to make that turn. put its blinker on, tried to get over but then stopped. We do have to get over though. And whoa, now it, it's just going through the bike lane and gets over with no indication, cut off a Toyota behind us. It went through a yellow light. Luckily it was not that stale of a yellow light. So we were in the clear. But still not perfect and not comforting, but it executed it. All right, cool, so we have a long stretch here to merge on the freeway and it's accelerating at a decent rate where we will hit speed by the time we reach the freeway. So far, the system's doing a pretty good job compared to our 2023 attempt, much better than compared to 2023. But uh, there's a few hiccups here and there, but you know, that's expected. And we merge on the freeway just fine. We're matching the car speed in front of us. However, we do need to get to 65. I would as a human go around this car in front of us and looks like the Tesla put the blinker on, but this car also put the blinker on. 
not sure why they're trying to get over. And now we're hard brakes because the Tesla is slowing down to let this car over. Even though there's no one in front of them, they're going below the speed limit and there's no reason for them to get over it. Oh, how beautiful, how lovely. So again, we're behind this slow driver going 63 and a 65 as a human. I would typically take it up to maybe 75 and go around them. So let's see what the Tesla does. Right now it's slowing down to 58, 57 now. And again, not going around them like I would. And now there's traffic on my ass and a really, really big gap in front of me. And this is something you don't see every day. There's a Tesla going about, I would say 35 miles an hour on the freeway, but it's hazards on. They probably are running out of juice. Or, never mind, the whole front end is smashed in. I'm not sure they're driving like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're doing FSD videos like us. All right, so it has sped up to a respectable 65 miles an hour, which, uh, you know, that, that's what I like, at least 65, right? Um, let's see what happens to the rest of the drive. So now I will say this is my first drive with the new update where uh, I don't have to touch the wheel for nags. And this is actually quite different than the last several three years of FSD videos we've done. Um, in this entire drive, I am happy to announce I have not once had to touch the steering wheel and no nags have presented themselves. So that's really great in my mind. All right, looks like we're merging to get over. Apply slight steering, and of course I say all that and now it's asking me for a nudge. Classic. That was a pretty, pretty long time we went before a nudge notification. Very different than the previous updates of the last three years. All right, this is a very interesting intersection. Let's see if the Tesla waits its time, its turn appropriately, and it does. But we were the last ones to go. Oh, hard on the brakes there. Whoa. Just please stop. Whoa. I'm gonna hit the accelerator. Yeah, complete, as Carlos just said, complete stop in the middle of an intersection after going through a stop sign. And no other cars waiting. No other cars coming. Um, we did have to hit the accelerator there to give it uh, a little bit of a, you know, go once it stopped in the intersection. So right now it's merging and getting over on a solid white line. Um, I'm pretty sure in California you're not allowed to cross a solid white, but I just did a double lane change and over a solid white. So that's something to point out. But again, nothing unsafe though, because it is just paint on the ground, right? And uh, no other vehicles were around us and we were able to successfully get over. And yeah, I'm rather impressed both with the majority of this drive, again, a few hiccups, but the majority of the drive, really successful, really smooth. And I've only had one nag notification this whole time. Like that. I'm kind of the opposite feeling. I know, you really should have the nag. Well, no, I'm just saying in terms of like being impressed. It accelerates when you so, so, so you're telling me the opposite thing what I just said. Yeah, why, why, why so? So even at the beginning when we were leaving, passing by Sharon Park, that was a 50 mile an hour zone. It's a park, there's a lot of kids there. And it was going 28. It's like a nag. It was yeah. Like 28. I saw the speedometer. There's been a couple times where I'm like, it's braking when I would expect it to accelerate, and accelerating when I expect it to brake. And I've even checked your feet. And I'm like, is this yeah, I've never touched the yeah. accelerator except for that one time when it stopped in the intersection. Now, one thing I do want to say is going to be interesting. As we pull here into the Tesla Deer Creek headquarters, there is most likely going to be a security attendant. And so let's see if the car actually stops for the attendant. Oh no! Since the last time I was here, the attendant is now gone. So we can. Pull into Tesla. Right. Let's see. Let's see what it does. We're pulled in here. That over to our right is the gas notification. But it says here says autopilot has navigation complete. Press accelerator to resume. And it, let's see if it will find us a parking spot. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> and here we are. So now we are parked exactly where the Tesla in the 2016 Painted Black video parked. However, the only difference is we didn't do a round circle around the guest parking lot and we didn't perpendicularly park in into the spot. But overall, the Tesla did pull into the parking lot and it did kind of park in the exact same spot as the Painted Black video. Feels like I'm being driven by a distracted teenage driver. That's what I constantly am thinking. And I'm, I don't even feel like I used to be very negative. Is it worse now? I would say is that where the technology is, how it performed today is how it should have performed eight years ago in 2016. Uh -huh. In 2016, if it was as good as it was today, I could understand Elon pushing that video. But it took them eight years to get to this mark. Mm -hmm. Yet, will they solve it? They possibly could on this hardware. I don't know. What, what will RoboTaxi have when they do the unveiling in October? I don't yeah. know. That could have different hardware too. But in this current state, it should have been, this is what it should have been eight years, eight ago. years ago. Yeah, this feels like, it feels like it'll get you there, but like you are holding on to something. Yeah. Like you're like, this is what I would feel like if I was a dad teaching my kid how to drive. I'd be like, ooh. Yeah. You know, you're doing it and I'm pretty sure that nothing bad's gonna happen, but it's like, all right, you're going over lines. You're fucking like not accelerating when you should to like pass cars. You're waiting at the yield way too long and then only going once there's a Jeep there. It's, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I want to say when I first started doing FST about three years ago, it drove like a kid who literally had only played GTA and is driving like he was in GTA. Then it slowly adapted to like say a grandma who's but seen out who yeah. can get you there safely, but she might run a stop sign, right? It's she like might. Little things. But little they things. Add up. But now it does drive like a driver who's maybe 16, just got their permit. Will they get you there safely? Yes. But will they be overly cautious? Yes. But will they also make massive mistakes? Yes, and I think that is a pretty good way to summarize yeah. what today felt like. It's not it's not smooth. Like it's a lot of hard accelerations and hard braking. The it doesn't do little things, right? Like and I don't know if I should expect this or not yet, but it doesn't avoid potholes. It doesn't look at the type of speed bump because there's so many different types of speed bump. There's smooth ones that you can accelerate over, there's hard ones that you like pretty much have to come to a stop to. And then there's also those kinds that have the brakes in between. Like yes. It's a speed bump and then it's flat in certain yes, spots. Yeah, like the ones we saw today. Yeah, and if you were to drive like as a human and you were paying attention, you can entirely avoid the speed bump if you wanted to. And it didn't do that, it would have like one Wheel, wheel in and yeah, one wheel over. Which is like the worst of all outcomes. Um, yeah, I mean, it got us here. And then it, even like this, the parking spot, it's in between two parking spots. <laughs> yeah. Like they're pretty well marked. I will say that if you look at my back wheel, my back wheel is probably about five feet into the lane. Yeah. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, if you liked it, do feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.